Hello everybody and a welcome back to the channel. This is part two of <laughs> Guess the Game. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell where you will see more great videos like this. So, anyway, let's get cracking straight into it. Just gonna turn on that. Right. So, this is where we left it. Um, I've studied the picture a bit more. Um, and there's a whole load of stuff going on up here. So, what I'm going to do is we're just going to get this part here done. Um, so, this is the little trolley. And we are going to chuck on the wheels, I think. The wheels and the... Um, frame that the wheels fit into <laughs> so I seem to have lost all my shortcuts so let's just oh so we've got to turn that back on so shift a let's chuck in a cylinder first um, and scale that right down um, rotate on the Y90 and on the image there are actually quite small wheels so we will do that and we will do that and let's just plunk it on the floor there and over a little bit okay so that looks pretty darn good so let's create another, or let's create a cube and then scale that right the way down and just zoom in or focus on and get that in the center and then just bring that across like that and like that, maybe a little bit wider there I think. And then this bit needs to be like attached up there. And then we'll just do that. Okay. What we need to do now is go into, I'm gonna reset all transforms. And then go to edit, control R, a couple of loop cuts. Bada beam, bada boom. Let's move this wheel over a smidge more. Now on here, we want to press the scale on the X to bring those two loop cuts out. And then basically hit number three for faces. Hit those two bottom ones and we're just going to extrude on the Z. Like that. Um, we've got to reset all transforms again and then hit number two for edges because we just want that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then we're just going to do a control a B to bevel and then go into your bevel settings and then just crank up the segments like so. And yeah, I mean, if you want, you can duplicate, shift, D, scale, maybe like that, and then bring that out like so. Just so there's a center point for the wheel. Um, we're just going to make the wheel uh, just going to make the wheel of a color. Yeah, do you know what it's like? Oh no, let's just like that. But in the center, so hit number three, number three. And then we're just going to inset. So it's going to be like the bearings are on the 
centerpiece there, create a new material, new, crank up the metallic and crank down the roughness and don't forget to assign it and that should be both sides and then maybe on the wheel maybe this is going in too depth because we probably won't see the wheel or we won't you know it won't be like at the forefront but if we're doing this let's do it properly and then we're gonna so basically control alt and click so you've done like a edge select and shift alt and then on the other edge select control b to bevel you can see there that we haven't done the um reset the transforms because you can see there it's got a lot of a lot of edges and not so much here so we're going to undo that go back into object mode Control A, all transforms, and then go back into edit again. And then Control B. And there we go. Perfect. Let's just shade smooth. And this, well, it's silver, isn't it? <laughs> in it. It's silver. So again, crank up the metallic. I'm going to chuck down the roughness. I mean, you know, that looks okay. I may even, I may even, let's just reset the origin to geometry. Um, just crank that a bit smaller, I think. Maybe bring it down a smidge. Oh, that's better. So we've got a paper thin gap up there. Yeah, we probably haven't. But, but. Um, so now we've got to select all three of these. So one, two, three. Um, and then we're just going to shift oh, object set the region to geometry. Shift the on the X over to here and then we want to keep your finger on the shift and then select 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 and then because we've, we've got both wheels selected there we can shift D on the Y bada bing bada boom bring them all up there look how cool is that yeah um <clears throat> this is silver so i'm just going to select that select the coaster and just drag it on there that'll do that'll do right now we need to create the sort of framework here so we're going to shift a i'm going to select cylinder Scale that right down. Scale it down to mm, yeah, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Okay, so that looks about tickety boo. And then that's going to go on there. And now we're going to go into edit. I'm going to select that top face. And then we are going to probably extrude it up to about, oh, just past the top of the box. We don't even need to extrude. You can just drag it out like that. Kind of. Mm, let's see. Right, and then what we're going to do now, I'm just going to save this because Sometimes whenever I use the spin tool, it crashes. So it's got like a real small angle on it, sort of going back out that way. I might just take it up a little bit more actually. And then we're gonna use the, uh, let me just place this here. And then we're gonna use the spin tool, but on the X axis. 
and then just kind of I can't see oh there we go um, so like 20 degrees something like that and then we're going to extrude let me just put that into normal um, extrude how can we just get away with that yeah we don't need to extrude <laughs> um, it kind of comes up here like that let me just chuck that in that mode so I can see better and then on here we're gonna put our um, cursor on there and then we're going to spin again on the Y so let's see what happens um, and then we're pretty much going for like a 90 here 90 89 ah that'll do 89.9 and then we are going to just drag that out so that's kind of like the handle and then oh it kind of it's on the P a bit isn't it so we need to do alt select and shift alt select because we're going to twist all this round Um, but we want to be back in global and then we're just going to spin this round like so so I'm kind of happy with that um, so now we want to mirror this little beauty so <clears throat> we want to mirror it from this face here um, but our center piece is here so we need to go to object set origin which is this piece our little vertice here <laughs> set origin to 3d cursor so that's taken us over to where we need it to mirror now we go into add modifier we need to go to a mirror. Bada -bing, bada -boom. I think maybe we should have made that a little bit, a little bit longer, maybe there. Okay. Um, so we need to move our cursor again to here. And then we want to set um, origin to 3D cursor and then if we go back into mirror boom there we go and then clipping okay um, and once you're happy just apply and that should now just be one item okay now obviously if you want to make it if you think oh it's not in the center um, you can obviously just extend these bits out a bit okay so I'm quite happy with that and on to the next piece we're just going to shade smooth let's go into normals and tick okay and that is oh chrome so what we'll do is we will add a new material and then just crank that metallic up 
and then roughness down. Um, there's also a piece of looks like banding on there or something. So maybe what we need to do is control R, put a couple of loop cuts in there. Control R and put a couple of loop cuts in there. Uh, control R, couple of loop cuts. Right, so with those selected and those and those selected, um, we need to move those up like so. Right, select faces. And we want that one because it's just going to come out a bit. And then on here, select these faces. And again, just bring it on out a bit. And then select one of these center ones because it just looks like a piece of material that goes across. So select that one and that one. And then if you do right click bridge faces. So it's kind of like that. So it just stops things dropping off. But this is all black. So what we need to do is if you do alt and left click and that'll do like a loop selection and then just do a new material and then there's literally just black oh don't forget to assign it um, like so so that's that that's your trolley done we just need to add on so on there also shift D on the Z and then it's kind of like a long box, but thin. So just going to chuck that on there. Maybe just give it a little wiggle. Um, shift D on the Z again. And then this one, I can just... It looks like a pizza box, to be honest, this one. So we're just going to make it flat. I mean, obviously you can... You don't have to do exactly this. It can be whatever, whatever the box you like. There's three of these. Shift D on the Z. I'm just going to go back into this one so I can see a bit better. And then Shift D on the Z. And then just sort of, well, not like that though. <laughs> like that. Um, and there's also a couple of sort of square boxes on the top, shift D on the Z and then we're just going to scale that right down because there are only little boxes only little boxes on the top there and there's two of those, shift D on the Y something like that so that's the boxes and the trolley done yeah it looks alright doesn't it? just the biz just the bit. Oh no, it's frozen. Let it go. <laughs> oh. Let me save. Okay, I'm going. Maybe there's just too much going on here at the moment. Right, now let's have a look at the back because there is a lot of things going on. And I mean a lot. Right, so this needs to be made a little bit bigger. I've now I've managed to zoom into the image. This needs to be made a little bit bigger and probably just come out a wee bit more. Um, on here, um, it looks like, let me just center that. So on here, this here, the centerpiece, is kind of glowing so I'm just going to change that to an emission and just crank that to maybe 
seven. Oh, and then assign it. Okay, and we need to do the same on here. New, change that to a mission. Say around about seven. Don't forget to assign. And obviously the same on this one. Um, edit new 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 mission bleh, seven seven and just assign it. Okay, so that is that and. So I'm quite happy with that. Right, so this thing here is actually not that size. It's actually kind of goes here. And there's another one, uh, something else, like from this shift duplicate on the Y. It goes here. It looks quite a bit longer. Sort of that sort of size, if you see what I mean. And then it looks like there's a couple of tubes coming out. And then there's also something, another square box shift D on the Z, which is up here. And just a long a wee bit. And then there's another box just above it, Shift D on the Z. Have you guessed what the game is yet? Kind of like that. And then that um, is, well, it's quite a bit bigger than that actually. Not, not that one. Like that. And then there looks like there's a couple of tubes going there. So it's going to make that a bit bigger. And there's also Shift D on the Y. Another box. Square box, which comes down about here. Sort of about there. I think these just need moving along a little, 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 little bit. Maybe they just need to be made a little bit. Oh, come on. A little bit smaller, maybe, and then move it along. And then the box there, and then it looks like there's another box. Shift D on the Z, which is up here, and it looks like there's all there's all cables and all sorts going on. So there's oh, another box. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Shift D on the Z. And that kind of goes here. So there's a piece of tubing that joins between these two. So what we do, shift A and then cylinder, make it small enough. Sort of bring it down here and then scale it up because it goes kind of like that. That comes over a bit more because it looks a bit central. So we just scale this down a bit. Because obviously we don't want the tube to be too big. Oh, let's bring it out a bit. That's actually not bad. Okay, so there's one piece of tube in. And then from here to here, oh, in fact, let's get all the pieces of tube done and then we can do the wires. Right, so we need to take this shift D on the Y, bring it down, rotate X 90. I'm just gonna scale that on in. Um, so this one here is gonna come, oh, just to explain, this big piece here almost looks like a louver for like air conditioning or something. 
Um, so I've made that a bit bigger. Um, yeah. So what we need to do is uh, go to edit. We're going to move the cursor to the top here and then just hit number three because we just want to the top there just hit number three because we want to hit that one there and then we're going to do the spin tool on the X and then we just want to do it 90 degrees um, 87889 90 and then we're just going to grab that top piece there come up Whoop. we've got another one coming out here so we need to make sure we've got enough room in there in fact that looks like it comes right up um, we're just going to put the cursor here and then we're going to spin tool it on the X again 90 degrees and I think it might be it actually yeah, 90. Um, then we're just going to move this along here, just in line with this piece here. And then again, we just move the cursor to the top. And then we're going to again spin on the X for 90 degrees. 80, 90. And then that goes straight up there. And then we've got a second one which kind of comes out up and then looks like it goes into the wall. So we're going to make a new one. Shift D on the Z. Rotate X 90. Just bring it out and then make it a bit smaller because we don't want to and again we're going to we'll bring that out to about here I think and then <clears throat> get the cursor get the spin on the X And then 90 degrees, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 9, 90, bang on. And just get the transform tool. We'll just bring it up here. Cursor. Transform on the X. To 90 again, 90, and then just drag it on out, and then it kind of probably to about the center here. Just put the cursor there again, and then. We want to spin again, but on the Z, 90, 70, 80, 90, and then just drag it into the wall, boom. Okay, so obviously you can right click, shade smooth, right click, shade smooth. right click shade smooth right click shade smooth so our piping our pipe work is getting there um, what else do we need so we've got that there and it looks like we've got a chuck in a loop cut not on this one control R about there and then number three for the faces and just drag it out 
put another loop cut in. Hit that face. Just drag it out. Kind of goes like that. Yeah. And there's also another bit of pipe that comes up across and then up again. So we'll take this shift D on the Y. Um, let's just bring that down. So it's got to come up to about here. Um, And then we need to spin it again on the 90 degrees. Drag it out like so. And then we have to spin it again as it going up. It might not fit in there might not fit in there. Oh, dang it. That's okay. That's not an issue. Because what we can do is just go into there, go into wireframe, B, select all them, and then you can just drag it across. And you just need that top one. And then just drag it on up. Kind of looks too long. Might need to bring that down. If we just bring this down a bit, to maybe about there. Because these they do look too long. Just select those top faces and they're just hidden in there. So you can actually bring all this down as well. Kind of goes there. And that kind of goes sort of there, which means that's got to come down a bit like so. Right, what is next? Oh, let's just bring that down a little bit. <laughs> There's a whole lot of pipe work going on now, I must say. And in fact, this here does actually come out a bit more. Sort of comes out about there. And it's probably not so big, maybe like that. like so. Now we've got, looks like we've got cables or something going on up here. So for cable I'm gonna use, let me just put that there, I'm gonna use curve, Bezier curve. There we go. Rotate Y90. Okay. Now we just need to bring it out. Go to edit mode. Because it's not that big. Kind of goes. Where does it go from? Well, it goes from there. So we just need to rotate that kind of 90 and then it goes sort of like in there. And then we just need to pull this, rein this back in. And rein this one back in. that comes out sort 
sort of there and then it kind of oh my god let's just bring those back in there that's well out of proportion there we go that's better right let's just bring that on over so this one here this kind of comes here okay I'm just going to bring it down and that's going to extrude because it goes down like that <laughs> just going to bring that in Oh my days. So that goes in there, that goes in there, that bring it on over, that needs to come on over. Okay, and then we can extrude. But this needs to come on up. I mean, it's cable, right? So you can't control cable, right? <laughs> Am I correct? <laughs> Good. <laughs> right, and then we need to bring it on over. Just gonna bring that on over. And then we're just going to extrude again up into there. I probably have to bring that over a wee bit. So it's, you know, cable is random. <laughs> now the geometry, we need to give it some well not that much so okay not point not point not not five yeah that looks all right not point not not five we just need to move that over just need to move that over and then we've got another one so if we come out of edit mode and then shift D on the Z it kind of goes Going to edit, we just need to bring that over and up. Whoop. Bring that over and up. Whoop. Bring that one down and across. Just so it's got a little bit more. Just so it looks a little bit more like a cable I guess just so it's not see that there that kink that looks absolute rubbish so we just bring that one across there but we need to bring that one across too and down so obviously you can play around with this to make it look like your own um, make it look like your own this looks like it needs to be a bit smaller if I'm honest 
sort of like that and then obviously that you can just bring it over and up and this one you can bring over and up so that's like our uh, cable and again um, we can just copy that across onto there and copy that across onto there like so so the boxes are dark grey these are well these are like I guess that sort of colour so it was offset from the wall just make it a little bit darker and not as dark as these ones and then we can just so we can actually see bada bing bada boom like that okay I guess these are going to be the same aren't they um, yeah so we just chuck it on there and they're all plastic so well they look plastic so we just need to give yeah they are we just need to give it a little bit of a bring down the roughness bring up specular you can see we've got a little bit of thing going on there um, yeah I mean obviously we're gonna have to bevel all these I just don't want to do anything yet. And then I think that's it for today. As I mean, you can see there's quite a bit going on here. Um, but it's getting there. Oh, I'll tell you what we didn't do was that one. There we go. Um, we obviously need to put some chrome bits in on here for the K for the connectors. And we've still got to come out of there and go up and unfortunately oh yeah, just go straight into the wall. So that's good. And then we'll tomorrow and we've got quite a bit done. That's it so far. And then on the next video let's we'll finish off the tubing there's only a couple more bits to go on um and then we'll sort these bits out the refrigerator or oh, it looks like a refrigerator and the drinks machine so i'll do that on the next video anyway i hope you enjoyed the video um if you did give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel um if anybody has any idea of what game this is from just drop your comment below um thanks for watching and um, we'll see you on the next video tell off for now